Yeah, okay, it's T with Gary V. Sipping in for three. I know patience is the key. Putting out all of my shit for free. This is T with Gary V. Might go make a flip. Take a risk. Good morning, Vayner Nation. Hope everybody's super well. Um, morning, morning, morning. Let's give some shout outs. Raymond Joe, Hannes, what's good? Brock Miller, what's good? Jimmy P in the building. Jessica Bella, Marciano, what is up? Axel, Blind Heart Test, Danielle Har- Harewood, best BBQ show. What's up? What's up? What's up? Big shout out to all the platforms. Um, before we get right into the show, let's share it up. Uh, really interested in as many people sharing this as possible. If you're on Facebook, absolutely share or restream. Uh, if you were on Twitch, big shout out to everybody on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, if you can just click that uh, URL up there and share it in Facebook or Twitter or your Facebook groups or text one homie and Twitter family, just retweet, retweet, retweet. Let's share this out. Let's get some new hearts and minds into this session. We've been helping a lot of people and I want to get to that place in the world. Um, Dustin, what's good? It's good with you. Uh, not not much. I just got the Twitch alert, which is good. <laughs> you mean the push notification that I'm live? Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> I like the sketches we're putting out on Instagram. Yeah, they remind me of uh those old old pictures. I mean, I'm sure it's derived yeah, off of that, but yeah, sure. but those old uh like funny meme kind of things. Mm-hmm. You good? Yep. Awesome. Oh, and um, at the end of the show today, we're going to have a, the Gary V TV promo thing, just so you oh, know. Sh- I mean, um, so how about those Knicks? <laughs> <laughs> um, Dustin, when we do that, is there, I guess we'll, um, we'll throw, are we going to throw up the, the Twitter URL to that so that everybody here can share it? It's yeah, going to be crazy. Yeah, uh, what Dustin dropped the dime on, of course, and ruined it, <laughs> is... We've started something super cool uh, on Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, you're making a huge mistake. Doesn't. By the way, we need to get like all sorts of stuff for Twitch. Like, where where's our team on that? So here's the thing. Um, in order for you to like get all those like little little nice things, um, we have to be either an affiliate or a partner. Got but it. then that would limit you to not be able to stream other platforms. So yeah, it's kind of like a uh, not sure Catch what to 22. do. Yeah. And Got I think I, I, I'm, I'm sure you'd rather be everywhere than committed. So, <laughs> of course. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Cool. Okay. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I'll figure it out. We'll, okay. We'll I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I sure like, you can like figure it You yeah. can figure that out. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Let's get in the show. Gary, oh, what's up, man? The legends in the building. Nice to meet you, man. Real pleasure, man. <laughs> I'm 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 about you and your whole crew. As you know, we're friendly. I'm pretty friendly with plenty of of your fam, and it's really good to see you, DJ Paul. Appreciate yeah. all the work you put in, man. Especially, I appreciate it. Listen to a lot of your music. Thank you, man. Thank you. I saw I saw uh, something a uh, long time ago where you was on my Instagram. I think you might uh, comment on something or something. It was it was weird. I was like, wow, cool. But I've been following you for a long time, so I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you back, man. This Love is a good way to you. start. Let's go. What's cooking? What can help I, you? I got a couple of questions. You got. I don't know if you have time to answer both or just go one ahead. of them. Let's but uh, I do a uh, real estate on the side outside of music. I do really really good with it, and I try to help out my fans as well. So I answer questions for them. So uh, this is a big question that they always ask me, and I have my answers about it, but I wanted to ask a pro like please, you. So please. one of them is uh, buying versus renting. What you think is best? You know, it's really interesting. Believe it or not, the answer can be either. I'll, let me explain. Obviously, when you're buying, you're, you're creating institutional value and wealth creation, and over the long period of time, that becomes an ROI positive thing. Buying real estate has been tried and true in our society for a hundred years, right? And and yeah. plus, so I'm a fan. However, I see a lot of people overextending themselves on the buy, which then takes their cash out of the equation on other things. Of course, if you bought a home 10 years ago, you would have done well, but if you put that same money into Amazon stock and just rented, you would have done much better. Yeah, And so people don't think about options. So is buying a home usually, 
as long as your neighborhood doesn't go to shit out of nowhere, an ROI positive financial event over time, yes. Does it multiply the same way that if you made a smart decision at that time with that same cash? No. Number two, most people when they buy, extend themselves too much. They buy the most expensive house they can. They wipe all their liquid on the down payment and then they kind of live their life to just make their mortgage payments. And it takes them out of opportunities. You know, I I bought a lot of stock during the pandemic the first week. Netflix, Amazon, they were at like record lows. Now a month later they're at record highs. Like that was an opportunity, but if you didn't have cash to do that, you missed it. So the answer is both. You have to be thoughtful on it and you have to know where you are in your life cycle and more importantly, what are you gonna do with that cash if you're renting? Because just sitting on the cash versus buying, that's not a good idea. Yeah, because a lot of people don't not as smart as you when it comes to stocks and when to buy and what to buy. And, 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 they, and a lot of people more more familiar with property. And especially some of our mutual fan base, if you're in areas that are on their way up, getting genderfied, getting cleaned up, you can buy some homes in places that used to look kind of dirty. Yeah. You know, you can start buying up those homes on the cheap and really doing quite well. There's a couple of places I'm looking at in Jersey on that. So it, it listen, or you could go buy a house in what used to seem like a good neighborhood, but then they put some sort of change to the highway and it fucked your shit up. Like, listen, everything's a gamble. To your point, DJ Paul, is, is the number one thing I want people to do is buy what they know. Even though I hate them because I hate the bulls with all my heart, I told all my friends, I didn't do it because I had too much emotion, but I told all, all my friends to buy Scottie Pippen rookie cards, right? Uh huh. I'm gonna pull up the thread actually. This is some crazy <laughs> shit. I told all my friends to buy them because I knew this, this documentary was coming, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Right? So, yep. and that so. That documentary is crazy. And so that rookie card went up from 30 from literally from 30 to to 300 and wow you know that's it like that's 10x on your return and anybody could have done that if they were paying attention yeah you got so bet. so bet on what you know uh huh the next question uh, my last one then I get out of here uh is if you have like I own a lot of multi million dollar homes in in big cities that I rent out, and I saw somebody say that if you have a house, now is probably the time to sell it because millennials not going to be into homes as much. What do you think about that? What I think about that is if you're renting out those homes, you're going to win because there is a movement in the youth to not buy but to rent, and they're still going to want to live in fancy places. So you're going to be making the value on the ownership, I, I I think it just comes, I actually think the renting market is gonna explode in the premium market. So if you're sitting on that kind of inventory, I actually think you're sitting well. Okay. Yeah, I, think I, you're have, I, think, I think you're gonna have more demand. I think you're gonna be able to increase those prices. I, I thought the same thing too. I just didn't know what security be more an issue and would they go for condos versus a standalone home. No, there plenty are gonna go for standalone homes because a lot of them are gonna buy into what I'm saying, which is like don't own it, have it for five years. Where you could get caught, it, it, the only variable there that can really get caught is if you go through years of everybody renting and then one year the market switches and people go back to buying homes, then you'll need to sell it. But I think you'll make the institutional value over that time, listen, good property is good property always and forever, period, whether it's renting or selling. Yeah. Period. All right. All right, Ben. Appreciate that, Take man. Take care of yourself, man. Keep doing Thank it. You. We appreciate it. All right, let's keep this going. That was fun. Hi, Gary. Hey, Adriana. How are you? Good, good. I feel like this was like the perfect setup. Love it. Because I am a real estate agent. Perfect. And you guys were just talking about real estate. So funny as shit ever. Um, so first off, thanks for having me on. Of course. Appreciate it. Um, so I do have two questions for you. Um, so the first question is I have all of the major social media channels. So I have Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat. I have a WhatsApp. I have my website. I have everything. Because um, I just opened up my own real estate office about a year ago. So 
I do a pretty decent job, I guess, of posting content on most of them. I've gotten better for sure um, since January, since I found that 164 pieces of content slideshow mm -hmm. thing. Um, yeah, that definitely helps because I do um, like a lot of videos. I do a market update video that I post once a month and I do that. God, I've been doing that for like two years. Um, so I started doing more like home ownership tips, like helping define different terms and stuff like that. And they take like a three minute video and crop it into like smaller one minute sections, stuff like that. So that definitely helps. Um, my one thing is as far as growth, um, you know, you always say, you know, try to comment on, you know, blow up on Twitter and comment on everything with all the different social media channels that I have and being a one woman show. Would it be better for me to devote less time to each one of them or just pick one at a time for like a week now? <laughs> I, I think less time. I think spreading yourself is better. Here's why. I don't think, I think people's egos are wrapped up in their following count. Okay. Instead, and so they get caught up in, if you focused on one channel, you'd be more likely to get that one channel to have more followers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think people are aiming for. What I'm aiming for is actual business. And by going everywhere, you're tasting different dynamics, which is teaching you how to be a better creator. You don't give a shit if you sell a home on Tik Alpha TikTok or LinkedIn or YouTube or Facebook, you're in a business. Most people want to focus on one thing because their entire framework when it comes to social media is completely based on followers. Right. It's, 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 yeah. it's a fucked up thing that I'm trying to destroy. I'm actually advocating behind the scenes for all social networks to hide follow count. No, and that makes sense um, because I do, rather than focus on, on that, I do tend to focus more on actual valuable content so I don't really post a whole lot of stuff of oh I sold this house or oh I sold that house because I feel like people don't really give a crap like yeah. unless I sold it to them yeah they don't I, care I, I mean, <laughs> that look, I sold it I would say here and there spreading that out isn't bad because mm -hmm. it shows people that you are selling homes which is mm -hmm. fine um yeah I think I think your question is predicated on a social media question uh a per excuse me a social media perception question versus an actual yeah. business question. What if one of your videos goes viral on TikTok and that becomes the thing that most helps your business? That's not mm -hmm. something that would have happened if you most focused on just getting the most followers you can on one platform. People are absolutely mm -hmm. obsessed with figuring out how to get followers when what they should be figuring out is how to get happiness and how to get the business result they're looking for. And Followers are an indication that you're hitting a nerve and people are interested, but pe but that's the byproduct, not the goal. Okay. And I think people are making it the goal and that's where their strategies are breaking down. That makes sense. So that's don't it. worry as much about the followers and worry more about where my leads are coming from, so to speak, and how many slash, people are slash, actually contacting Slash me. realizing that you're in other places that you're learning and that mm -hmm. something may happen somewhere that you could have never seen. And that then, like something may happen on TikTok that makes you say, oh, now TikTok needs to be 50% of my energy and the rest need to be 5% each. But you would have never known that if you weren't giving 5% of your energy to TikTok. Absolutely. That makes sense. Got it? Makes eggs, sense. Um, eggs and baskets, right? Okay, yeah. Gotcha, eggs gotcha. and baskets. Okay, and second question is actually um, from my husband. He actually is the one that turned me on to you like four years ago. Thank you. And I was one of those people that was like, okay, he's a little bit too much too for much. me. Um, we're, yeah, no, right? <laughs> um, and I, yeah, whatever. He's, I, I actually was one of those people that thought you were the snake oil salesman. I get it. But I, I was it, like, but... I feel like I just at the time was not there like mentally. I get it. So since then, yep. now we're better. Um, so my husband, that was, was there, big was fan there, of yours. Was, just so I can learn a little bit, was there a piece of content that kind of triggered it? Was there any, was there a moment where the switch is like, wait a minute, this guy's not full of shit. This guy actually can help. Um, it was, but it actually wasn't even one of yours. Um, I so that. I started listening to, um, like a lot of like Jim Rohn and, um, Napoleon Hill and started listening to like a lot of stuff that they like said in their books. And I went back and like started listening to, I listened to one of your videos. Like, oh my God. Like he's saying the same exact thing that they're saying. 
Interesting. He's just saying it differently. So that's cool for you, like your whole, um, like your mindset thing that you have about like owning the Jets. Yes. Napoleon Hill actually talks about that in his book, Think and Grow Rich, because you have that undying focus yep. for that and nothing you do. That's, that's a concept that you probably didn't even know that you had, but yeah, you I'm, just I'm kind of unread, inherently but, have yeah, that. It's just in my data. <laughs> All right, go ahead for your husband. Um, so for my husband, he, um, he didn't grow up with a whole lot of structure or self-discipline. Okay. So his main tip that he would want to know is having grown up with no discipline and having no very little self-discipline as an adult. Um, is there a way that he can, I guess, learn to acquire that self-discipline as an adult? Well, what's the discipline in? Um, just in general. I mean, he, he wants big dreams, but he is not the, the, yeah. He's full of shit. Yeah, in a lot yeah. of ways. <laughs> well, let's get him on the show and let me get a crack at it. I mean, you know, the, the, it, it's, it's, it's about, you, you, you have a very, very tricky spot in this relationship because you love him and even the way you're delivering it, it's not like the, it, I can see that it's not like the worst. You just want something good to happen. Yeah. So you have to find the balance of not actually perpetuating it by over coddling mm-hmm. him and entitling him at the same token, telling him constantly like, yo, so do something about it is gonna hurt feelings. So it's a, you know, it's a tricky Absolutely. game. Uh, you know, my big thing is that one of the things that I love <laughs> to tell people is like, yo, this is simply about, you know, results are results. Like everyone, everyone has excuses. So Jessica Feliz says here, I have major discipline problems. Like make LOL. Like, Here's the reality, and this is a really good cold. This isn't a this isn't a tea. This is this isn't even a dirty tea. This is ice cold tea for everybody this morning. The results are always right. What I mean by that is, if you're not winning, it is 100% your fault. Mm-hmm. Not 99, not 98, not your mom's, not your not the systems, not this one deal fell through. Not, oh God, Corona happened now. 100% is your fault. And I think Mm -hmm. people that lack discipline or talk about big game but never do shit need to be reminded 24-7, 365, sometimes cold, sometimes sweet tea, but they need to be delivered every single time. Mm -hmm. 100% of this is on you. Oh, you haven't achieved that thing yet? That's you. Mm-hmm. That's you, not the neighborhood, not how I grew up. Like, oh, I grew up undisciplined. Like, that's called excuses. Right. Many people grew up with shit family situations in mm-hmm. the shit hood with drug moms and all that shit and went on to fucking do shit because they had, thank God for them, the DNA, the serendipity. They met somebody along the way. That, honestly, in a lot of ways, that is what drives the shit out of me. Adriana, I want to be that person because I had people around me. There's a level of gratitude and guilt that makes me want to be the person for people that they stumbled across on YouTube or Twitch or what have you that helped them get happier. And happiness starts with accountability. Period, end of the story. Period, end of story. Like, the end. You don't like America? Move. Sweden's fucking fresh. Like, you know, like... Like, yeah. you know, you don't like your, your, your mom drags you down? Move. Mm-hmm. No, but then I'll hurt her feet. No, 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 no. That's you making, ex- you. Every person watching this right now is one. Th- Every person watching this right now has the internet because that's where I am yeah. right now. If you have the internet, you are 100% accountable. And yeah. so, you know, the, the way you can help him is never, is suffocate him, sometimes with sweetness, <laughs> Sometimes with a little bitter herb of, yo, honey, that's you. That's not Ron's fault from work. That's not your dad's fault that he, I have no idea what the situation, I'm just throwing out bullshit <laughs> scenarios. Like, like, this is 100% accountability. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck that you had an unstructured life. Mm-hmm. Definitely not your dreams. Your dreams don't give a fuck that you had an unstructured life. If you got fucking dreams, if you're talking big game, Go fucking execute. Don't tell me why you can't execute. Excuses are, complaining and excuses are fucking poison. Mm -hmm. Garbage. Oh yeah. 
losing DNA. Suffocate Absolutely. them. Absolutely. I'm trying. <laughs> Suffocating I do is as consistent. Much as I can. Yeah, exactly. But you, but why I'm saying sweet and and candor, you got to mix it mm-hmm. because okay. suffocating means every time it gets brought up, you don't let mm-hmm. it go by. Gotcha. No, yes, ma'am. Okay. You can't be the yes woman. You got to okay. be no. But sometimes you're like, sometimes it's like, honey, you're fucking full of shit, and you walk out of the room. That's mm-hmm. zzz, that's a zzz. other times it's like, baby, I know that you fucking didn't have it like that as a kid. But the punchline is, there is no time machines. You can't go back. So if you're gonna fucking go do all these things, you gotta do it now. That's sweet. Mm-hmm. That's a little, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes, mm-hmm. zzz, sometimes, mm-hmm. like you got, okay. but, but never, yeah, you're right. Anytime okay. you say, yeah, you're right, to a complainer and a dweller, you're mm-hmm. fucking feeding the beast. Okay. You're enabling, well, I... you're enabling that bullshit. Yeah. Zzz, or mm-hmm. Never, okay. y- you're right. Never just ignore it. It's always suffocating. Say something. Is suffocating. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Well, Sweet. I will do that. Z. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Z. Okay. Good. I will do that. Awesome. Well, you got thank it. you. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good rest of your day. That was good. I'm into that shit. Dustin, I believe in that shit, bro. Yeah, that's something uh, me and my girlfriend actually working on all the time just uh not feeding each other like not enabling bad behavior yeah yep let's keep it going Mm -hmm, that was good what's up my man what's up um hi guy it's um i don't know if you remember me but i was the guy that tweeted you that i was in that would drive my wheelchair up to uh new york to take your hand and um I just want to thank you for what you've done for me in the um, and what you, what you continue to do for me. Um, my question is, um, I've done everything you told me to do on TikTok, on LinkedIn, I mean, not LinkedIn, but um, Instagram and Twitter. And I'm in the process of writing a book. And I don't know, and I, I have the clothing brand, this is my, cl- my dummy of the day, clothing brand. I just don't know what the st- next step is to um, um, go go f- go further and take it to the next step like i reached out to like um like vayner speakers who try to do um like get more speaking engagements because i've been doing that a lot and i just don't know what the next step is for me to, well, to but uh, when you say next step what are you trying to accomplish like make the book sell or or get speaking get like what's the what's the roi I'm trying to spread my message i don't care if the book sells i just want to do it like, like well good news Bo. then just spread the message yeah, I mean, yeah. No, no, stick with me here. This is an important moment. I think this will bring you value. The message will find its audience over time. All you can do is put it out. When I say post everywhere, all I'm really saying is put out your story, put out your message. And okay. then what ends up happening, Bo, is the market takes over. Okay. I mean, there's been people who wrote books in the 40s and 20s that didn't get fame until they were dead in the 70s because somebody read it and put it on. Yeah. More of my videos will be consumed after I'm dead than when I'm alive. Yeah. You see where I'm going? If you're actually telling the truth that you just want to spread the message, which is my truth, then you just spread the yeah. message. Most people yeah. actually are trying to make as much money as possible, get as much fame yeah. as possible. They're going selfish, not selfless. When you go fucking selfless, you have no yeah. anxiety. Yeah. I never thought and, about it when it wasn't happening. It didn't cross my fucking mind. Yeah. And like like you said living your truth, like I know I'm I know I'm in a wheelchair and I'm not I'm not going to get out of my wheelchair at all. I'm going to be in a wheelchair the rest of my life and I'm happy. At, I mean, I'm not obviously I'm not happy about it, but it's my it's what it's your it truth. Is I have to do. That's right. Yeah. And then, and then like the the whole exception versus reality thing you know, like people think I'm so depressed about being in a wheelchair. It's no. I'm, I'm I know not. you're not. It's, like, it's me. It's and, it's why you know, it's why I love you. It's why I know you can win. But I don't want you yeah. to get caught up in bullshit metrics of money and followers. If you're just you just need to keep fucking making content, bro. Yeah, and I'm putting stuff out. It's but I'm putting stuff out. It's just I'm just. It's just I'm not like, doing. It's just not doing as well as you want it to do. Yeah, ex- exactly. But I'm also struggling with like the like the like. Paying for stuff like I want to, like I want to, um, like 
get wheel, get um, lights on my wheelchair. That's seven hundred dollars. I don't have. Okay, well, guess what? I'm buying you lights for your wheelchair. Really? That's all. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. You and Dustin are gonna connect right now. You're gonna send me your PayPal, and I'm gonna send you seven hundred bucks. And now you got fucking lights on your wheelchair. Okay. Now you can go spread your message. Okay. And also, I you know, like I just I just want to like my whole thing is I want to tell people to do the best they can for so for, do that with, with their their abilities and that, and that's what I'm that's what I've been doing. Well, good news. Thing... Keep what? doing it. Okay. Have you thought about flipping? I. I, I literally, I don't have a car. Like, I, no, I, no, no, I, no, 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 no. I'm talking I, internet only. Internet I'm only. Flipping what, like, like? Anything. Obviously, you know, I think about sports cards. Anything. Buy something, buy something for 25 bucks, repost it for 45 bucks. I, have you, I've have you thought that. about it? I've done that. I've done that. But they closed the, 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 um, the, uh, the, um, the Salvation Army close to me. So, and I can only, I, I can't really drive, so. Remember what but, I said, Bo? No, no, no. Internet only. Buy okay. something on, you know, buy a lot of wrestling figures on eBay, yeah. get them home, sell them off individually, make the 100% profit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can do that. I can try. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I think you can do that, Bo. I think you can really get good at that. Yeah. And that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to, to do. Bo, listen to me. I know, I know that you want more people to follow you, more people to see shit. It, it can happen if you just keep going at it and if your message is good enough. If it's not, it won't. That's just the truth. So one yeah. of the things that people need to worry about is changing up their message a little bit. I yeah. don't think most people are going deep enough. I think most people go surface level. And see, I'm trying to go deep too because I'm trying to go deep versus wide, like you say. You know, putting out content and, you know, and that stuff. I want but you to go I deep and wide, right? I want you to go deep on every platform. Yeah, I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to. to uh, um, that's what I'm trying to do. Listen, it's, it's a it's a long game, bro. Yeah, it just and is. I, and I just started. Like I obviously just started. Off, and I'm, you know, tr trying to get my message out there by selling these shirts and stuff and and that kind of stuff. And you know, I don't know. I I just need. I just need. Like I I needed this to to, to give me a, a shot. A little boost. And, well, good. I'm always here. Yeah. Couple things. This was super productive. Yeah. First of all, a fuckload of people are probably following you right now on Instagram and Twitter. Let's see what's going on there. So yeah. that's good. That'll give you a boost in the arm. I'm here for, listen, I'm all about boosts in the arm. I love giving boosts in the arm. Like I'm okay. right here to give you a boost in an arm, right? So let's, there's that, right? So here's yeah. a big one. I didn't even realize this. I haven't followed you yet. So boom, you just got my follow. That fucking matters, right? That's yeah. nice. You're at 843, you're at 846. I don't know what you started at when you got on here. Yeah, I was at, I was at uh, like in the 800s, low 800s. Well good, you're about to get over a thousand. Watch this. Here comes the Vayner Nation. Everyone's gonna come hard. And as soon as, now that they see you're smiling, this shit's gonna get real crazy. Every fucker on here is about to follow you. So that's good. That's a little yeah. boost in the arm. Another yeah. boost in the arm is, I just bought you fucking lights for the wheelchair. You're fucking, yeah. now we got yeah. fucking lights. That's fucking yeah. huge. Because I drive my wheelchair, I literally drive my wheelchair uh, like, uh, like, um, like I've driven a thousand miles in uh, over a thousand miles in six months. Yeah, and we can't get you need fucking lights. We can't get you can't be dangerous out there. No, we can't. No, so now you're fucking now you got lights, right? So that's yeah. good. So yeah. here's the boost in the arm. You got lights. Yeah. You're gonna send me the link, and you're you're gonna give Dustin the link to where you want which lights you want and your PayPal, right? Yeah, I have to order them through the through the. Uh, through the manufacturer. Actually, though. so then, so then, so then, I'll just wire you the seven hundred bucks on PayPal. Okay. Okay. So that will get done right after this. Call. Like you'll talk to Dustin. So that's good. You know what? Another boost is. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Yeah, About eleven hundred. Coming in. What's that? I see him on my phone. I see him coming in. Like fast. I see you're you're on the phone right now. And you're getting all the push notifications. Yes. That feels good, right? That's a little endorphin hit for the fucking bow this morning. Very good. Yeah, that's right, my yeah. man. And I still, I still want to come up there and be and kick your ass in, uh, um, air, I mean, in ice hockey on the Nintendo. Bro, I'm gonna beat your fucking brains in. No, you can't. No, you're not. You don't I know can... me. You don't know me. I'm not gonna hold back. I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm gonna beat your fucking skull I, I in. Still, I just still give you a run for your money. We'll one see. Hand. We'll see, Bo. You better. Can... You better. You can bring a friend too and have three hands. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of both of you. I'm not losing to you in oh. fucking ice hockey for Nintendo. I can try. I, 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 <laughs> I have one. I, I can. I used to play it all the time. I, 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 I don't give a fuck, Bo. My brain won't let me lose to you. 
Okay. All right, I'll see you on Twitch. Talk to Dustin, we'll get you the lights. Congratulations on all your new followers. And remember, slow and steady on those wheels, brother. It's gonna take some time. Don't get down, day by day, day by day. Yeah, and then, you know, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm just trying to do the next step, but, you know, I really wanna, you know, do it, do it, and I feel. You um, know I sell patience for free. Yeah, yeah, Buy it, yeah. it's patience, bro, you just started. Yeah. And it's gonna be a huge boost. A bunch of people are probably DMing you right now with opportunities, so take up all those people that want to do podcasts and collaborations. Use this as a springboard moment for you. You got likes, yeah. and you got fucking a boost on your Instagram, and that's gonna get you going. Yeah, yeah, and then I can go from there. But thank yes, you, you again. You're welcome, brother. Talk to you soon. Uh, all all right. right, let's keep it going. Yep, yep. Dustin. Yep. They don't realize that I would I would beat Bo twelve to nothing in ice hockey and then <laughs> and then stand up and go get right in his face. I got when when I go into competition, Gary, that's a different fucking dude. I know. You've seen it. Yeah. When nope. did you see it the most? What's your favorite competition, Gary story? Um, I remember you were in the Twitch studio and then you were playing. I don't I don't remember what game you were playing, but it's that that one photo we posted of you where you're like, oh, going nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my my arms looked huge. I was yeah. like, oh, I was like, I think I asked if we like enhanced them. I was fired up. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep going. Hi, Hello. Rachel. How Hi. Are you? That was I'm good. Thank you. That was so great what you did with Vo. I love that. Thank you. Um, I visualized this moment over and over, and it's working. So um, thank you so much for having me. You're making this the best day of my life, I'm sure. I am actually stuck, and I feel like I'm missing a piece of a puzzle. So that's why I'm here with you. And I wrote down a few notes just to give you a really short background. Um, and then I'll ask my question. So about three and a half years ago, I quit corporate, and I hated every minute of it. Mm -hmm. But I did it because I really wanted the experience. I liked the money. I liked the car. I liked all the benefits. Um, but in my heart and blood and soul, I'm just a real entrepreneur and um, and I just want to be location independent and travel the world. I've been living abroad for many, many years, but I I never, ever take the leap of faith. I don't believe in that. So I just work, work, work. So before I left and before I quit, I really started building what you call leverage and credibility and all of that. So meanwhile, while I'm here now, I published um, uh, books. I co-authored books. I did two TEDx talks. I have a bunch of online courses on Udemy. I started uh, really focusing on YouTube, put all my content there, um, and I coach a few clients. But I also have a teaching job at university part-time because I need the paycheck. I get it, smart. So you're practical um, and ambitious. Yes, but I, like I have that. to say, I have to add that I used to be super shy, low, okay. low, low self-confidence, and I taught myself everything. So that's the message I wanna bring out in my YouTube content and everything is like, you guys, you can learn it. You know, you can learn this stuff. I was there. I, to, I yeah, was there. Yeah. Everything that you talk about, the mindset, the, you yep. know, the positivity. I created this life for me. I'm able to travel, not because I'm lucky. No, because I created, because if my thoughts make... create my reality. Yeah. There's, there's no so, luck. There's circumstances and execution. There's no absolutely, luck. Absolutely. Absolutely. Luck, luck is a loser word. There's yep. circumstances and there's, you know, execution. Now, of course, yep. you know, you know, of course there's circumstances. And maybe luck and circumstances are the same word, but like, no question, like you can make so much happy happen for yourself. And if you're defeated by it's already been written, then you're not going to do anything. Totally. And I stopped comparing myself to other people because you get, Huge. you know, you, you look at others like, oh, they have it all and I don't have anything and you, you stay stuck. You don't know so, anything about them. They may exactly. have it all on paper. You ha you said you had the house, the cars, but you weren't happy. Fuck that. No, I don't give a shit totally about people's cars and no. house. I want to know what their soul's about. Yeah, absolutely. And so that's really what I want to do. At least like I just I just want to continue my life, living a life without regrets, but also inspiring people to, hey, don't stay stuck in a job that you hate and just do what you love and live that life without regret. So I just my drive is like I don't want to grow old and thinking, ah, oh, what if I had done it? You know, no, I don't want to be that person. So I want to live. So my question is, well, first of all, I, I could use, you love to boost. I would love to have your boost on my YouTube channel because that's where go. I put all my content. There Thank you, you so much, Dustin. Thank you, Gary. Um, and my question really is, what am I missing here? How can I monetize this more so that I can quit that teaching job, you know, and just be fully my own boss and just well, using how, how, all of that content. I give, 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 but I'm not monetizing. Are you asking? <laughs> not enough. I knew That's, you were going to say that, but sure, I, I it's, just, it's, it's cause, cause I'm listening to you. You know, everyone's always like, Gary, you talk over everybody. I'm fucking listening. If you started from a place of insecurity, the number one place where people are insecure is the ask. Yeah. You might've, 
addressed a lot of areas. The next place we need to boost up is your ability to feel confident for the ask. Because I mean, I, I post, I share, I, you know, I, I give value. And I know, I mean, I have coaching clients. I know I'm good at this because they always say I over deliver. You, you, I... you have to ask more and you have to charge more. Hmm. It's just practice. What's amazing is I know you're going to do it because you've already done the first part. This is literally just asking for more. How much do you, how much, if I asked you right now, to, to, if, if I was Johnny Magoo and I said, I want you to be my coach, what would be the price? Way too low. About how much? 15, That's okay. About, about $1,500 for four months. Right. So f- almost, a little less than $400 a month. Mm-hmm. Right. So now make it five. Now the next person that asks, make it $2,000 for four months. Now that's 500. The next person, 600. The next person, 700. And then, and then what you'll learn is people said yes all day long at 500. They said yes all day long at 600. But at 700, you, you know, you're getting pushback. Only half say yes. That's still good. At 800, everyone says no. Good news, you found your market. You're about 750. But not when one person says no, when 20 people say no. And so you need to push the envelope of your cost. And then on your content, you need to ask more often and say, hey everybody, I'm taking on five more clients today. This is the video. It's not gonna get as many likes or as many views because it's a sell. But you're gonna be like, today I'm taking on five more clients. Let me tell you why I think I'm great. Let me, maybe you take a video and do a Zoom with three people that use you as a coach and put the testimonial in there. And then you sell five people. Jab, 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 right hook. You have to be okay with asking. Especially when you believe in it. You've heard this from me. Like the reason I keep yeah. pushing wine text right now, today we're selling a $95 Cabernet that got 95 points from the best wine magazine for $39 when wine.com is selling it for $95 when Vivino's selling it for $104. Of course I'm gonna tell everybody. Everybody's got Father's Day coming up. They can buy something for $39 that is $100 value. Like, of course I feel good about throwing that right hook. Mm. And you feel good about you being good. Yeah, I know I'm good. It's just that I, I do. I mean, I feel like I, I wanna put more energy into this and I just, but I, I still like, I mean, people are not really asking me for coaching all, I guess, because I'm not asking. Because you, you're not like, asking, that's right. You're like, so you just, know, like, Yes, like you have to make them aware that you're open for business. Like it's okay. Mm-hmm. And it's okay when you go for it and, and nobody orders it too. You're like, okay, Gary got me hyped. You rewatch the video. You put on some Rocky music and you go in and nobody buys. <laughs> That's okay too. You go right back to providing value. So many so of you, the things. You just ask in posts? Just ask in posts like that or in? in, in yep. Yeah. Okay, just be my client and grab your coaching session. And- make, make, make a video you know, once a month and say, this is the, uh, you know, every month as you guys know, like literally, literally, you know, tomorrow you're like, hey guys, uh, it's Rachel again. You know, like every month going forward, one one of my YouTube videos is gonna be about signing up some coaching clients because I'm really excited about it and I'm in a point in my life, it's just transparency, right, Rach? I'm just gonna mm-hmm. act as you right now. And you got, some of you may or may not know I'm in a point in my life where I've got another job as well and I'm on the verge of being full coach and I wanna give more energy to my coaching clients and if I tip over and get another 10 clients, I can do that. So I'm doing a special today. Like I'm, I'm you know, spoke to Gary Vee the other day and I'm gonna be raising my prices, but for anybody who signs up now, I'm gonna honor my retroactive price. Next month, I'm gonna be in my new pricing. Um, I really feel proud of it. Uh, if you want to speak to some of my clients when you email me, um, you know, I've two. I've asked all seven of them. Two of them said yes. They'd be references. You're happy to talk to them. But I'm telling you yeah. right now, I really believe that the investment you make with me will be ROI positive for you. And so, da 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 da. Couple other things, Rachel. I think you should go to six months. Four months is just it's a it's yeah a too yeah. Much, yeah. I just I, gave an example, but I have like different packages. Yeah yeah. Yeah, I, I would yeah. make six your floor, your floor. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see where I'm going. Yeah. Uh, I would make six your floor just because it gives you more time to make an impact. Totally. It, it helps, you know, four months, takes a month to get kind of cozy. You know, by yeah. the time you're going, you're you're in that renewal cycle, which for you comes foreign on the sales. So I want to give you a little more time to breathe. This mm-hmm. is fucking business strategy. Yeah, true. I do YouTube. My YouTube videos are all about, you know, tips and advice on gaining clarity and the confidence and the mindset and overcoming fears. But what reach, you just said, is, is it more yeah. like a live or something? Do more live? No, no. Oh, okay. Just oh, like by that. the way, Yes, live and YouTube video. Like for one day, your salesman, Rachel. Okay. It doesn't have to be a live, that's what you're saying. It's gonna be both. I want you to go live. I want you to go, uh, yeah, like the 15th of the month, every day you do selling your coaching, it's fine. Yeah, I do Facebook lives now, but yeah, I wanna do YouTube lives. If YouTube's your number one platform, you have to go there. If you have an email service, email that out. 
Like yeah, we call it a launch on Team Gary. Like if I'm like, hey, we're launches, that means everybody's getting hit. Yeah. Every channel, email, text platform, social. Yeah. Yeah, and I have enough things to sell. I have my online courses, my books. I mean, I yeah, but I just, yeah. Ask, ask, ask. You need one Saturday, selling Saturday, selling Sunday, one day a week, one day a month, excuse me, where you just sell. And that's okay. Maybe you go on live for eight hours and answer Q and A, and the whole time you're selling. Like you need a sell day. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, got it. Yeah, can I have twenty seconds? Because I really want to shout out my little brother. He's amazing. I miss him and I love him to bits. And um, he's a barber, and he just puts such an amazing content on his Instagram. And so his Instagram handle is Barbershop Reginald, and he's just really trying does, to grow. So you could send him some gloves. How do you spell Reginald? Um, R E J I N A L D Reginald. Barber shop. Barber Reginald. shop Reginald. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Rachel. Wow. Thank you so much, Gary. You're welcome. Bye bye. See, that was a sell. She sold her brother's profile. She's got it in her. Let's keep it going. Gary, what's going on, man? What's good, Nick? Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Topeka, Kansas. That's what's up. Hey, man, I just wanted to say thank you and uh, to let you know that this moment makes me extremely happy, man. Um, I feel super honored to be on your show. And uh, if I could get a virtual cheers Let's for my it, birthday, happy that would birthday, be so brother. awesome. Hey, how thank you so much. How old much. are you? 22? Uh, 29. I <laughs> appreciate that. Looking good, bro. Thank you. Uh, so my question here, uh, I really have two, but um, so I work uh, – insurance right now and the first question i have is how can i bring value um in and as a consumer for you gary uh, what would you say on this uh, how can i bring value without coming across as a salesman one more time how do you bring value as to other people to then do business with you yes by watching what i do right like there's a lot of people who buy their wine now from my dad's store or from Empathy Wines because I bring them value at, at all times and then occasionally I mention what I do or what I'm passionate about, right? So the way you bring value without being too selly is by not being selly. <laughs> right, but okay, But also, so like the last lady, being okay with asking for the sale once in a while. So you put mm -hmm. out as much content, whether it's about Kansas, whether it's about esports, whether it's about insurance, whether it's about you know, beard culture, you, beard. you you get people to know you. I'm being serious though. The beard, your beard might be the single reason you sell the most insurance and because nobody, you know, insurance is boring. That's what I'm saying. Like, I know, like, I know what you're saying. Why do you think there's Geico and progressive like, and the like flow and like Snoopy for MetLife insurance is so fucking boring. They have to create like characters. Right. And I don't want to do like what you've said in, in an interview before is like, I don't want to sell fear. You know, that's right. one reason, like, you said that you wouldn't sell insurance is because of, like, how you sell it, you know? Well, I would sell practicality, though. You know, okay. some people are like, what if he dies? You know, that's fear. But if you're like, hey, listen, unfortunately, as we all know, one day something will happen. And it's nice to have this in place, right? Mm-hmm. You, you see where I'm going? Right. So, and, uh, go ahead. Okay, and sorry, I don't want to interrupt you. but You're I, not interrupting I, me ever. <laughs> Uh, so the second question, though, really is um, how does someone find their passion? By tasting things. Like, how do you know if you love surfing if you've never fucking surfed? Mm -hmm. And I listen to you all the time say that, man, and so I, I figured that would be your answer. Um, so let me ask you a question to make it even more valuable to you, brother. What do you think might be your passion? If I'm like, yo, bro. 30 days, you're just going to do 30 different things. Like, what are some of the things that come to mind? I mean, music. Um, I love cooking. <laughs> Have you ever made a video on YouTube of you cooking something? Uh, not, like, a video, but, like, I've posted, like, what I've cooked. What about a video? Why don't you make a video tonight, take your phone, set it up, and cook, and put it, and post it on YouTube, and post it on IGTV, and see what the fuck happens. Okay. That's actually how you do it, brother. 
Right. And I've been, I've been working on that. Like, I mean, that's why I'm on this video right now. Like I will admit like it's, it's execution. Like you're absolutely right. It always I mean, is. You, you posted twice about tea with Gary V yesterday. I said, Hey man, like it's my birthday. Can I get on? I didn't hear anything. And like, I really wanted to talk to you and get these things answered. So I asked again and that's when you hit me up. And I happened to see it. And that was, that's rare. You know how many people right. watching right now have asked me 4,700 times to be on Tea with Gary Vee? It's all serendipity. But if you didn't if you didn't ask the second time, I wouldn't have seen the tweet and we wouldn't have this moment right now, bro. It's execution. It's always execution. Everybody plays out life in their brain instead of with their hands and their legs. Mm -hmm. Fucking you have to do. It's only doing. Everything that plays in the head is all insecurities and, and fucking bullshit. You gotta take fucking positive thoughts and put them to action. It all comes down to not giving a fuck what people think. This is why I spend so much time on it. You know, it's being strong enough to put up that cooking video and being okay with people in your life texting you and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Which you then reply to, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out yeah. of my fucking cooking YouTube video. You worry about you, mom. Mm -hmm. You worry about you, Rick. You worry about you, boyfriend. Like, what do you mean what I'm doing? I'm living my fucking life. What the fuck are you doing? And and that, I have for everybody who's watching right now when you do something because you get inspired right now and do something new and somebody goes, What the fuck are you doing? Reply with ease. What do you mean what the fuck am I doing? I'm doing what I want to do. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of my fucking life. It's crazy you say that because I put a Facebook post that said if you haven't asked me for insurance, period, delete me. And like coming from me, like that people they're like, Man, you're so yeah. fun. Like, what's going on? Like, what's up? Change. And and <laughs> And um and so, but I did. I followed it up with love. Uh, the next day, I was like, "Listen, I hit you too much with the right hook. Like, I haven't even brought any value, um, you know." And and I tried to make myself accountable by saying, "Like, hey, listen, I am going to bring you value. I haven't yet." So, um, you know, I, I hear you, Gary. I, I listen to you, and I, I really appreciate you having me on here. And uh, I'm going to start doing, man. I I just had a son this year. Congratulations. And uh, I got to teach him the right way, man. Teaching the right way is just about love. Like you teach him love and kindness, you'll teach him the right way. If you want to build on top of that, these this is all gravy. You know, if he's happy and he's kind, you've taught him the right way. That's simple. Layering some of this shit about business and execution and, and fulfillment, that gets a little bit too, 201, 301. That's that next level, right? So... You know, I think I think you got a shot. I think you need to absolutely just execute. Okay. Just keep build on this momentum. Rewatch this video as much as you have to. No, I will, man. Right. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Thank man. you so much. Thank you. You got it. Omar. Gary. Oh my God. Man, thank you for having me. I'm, I've been, I tried like tweeted like six times over the last two. I can't, I can't speak, man. You could speak. You're doing great, brother. Nice. To meet you. <laughs> where, where are you from? I'm from Egypt. Egypt, very nice. I'm, I bet I'm the first one from Egypt to hop in this show. I think you might be. I'm trying to think, but I think you might be. It's a real. I'm podcast. setting records. Here. Well, let's go, baby. <laughs> thank you, first. Go. Uh, okay, let me give you some context on what my question is. All right, first of all, I want to thank you, man. I got even oh, like a picture of you. Like, <laughs> Hang on, my, oh man, you, you changed my life. Can you imagine that? Right? So let me give you some context, right? So I'm a 16 year old, 17, to be 17, right? Okay. So, and I create content. I've been creating like different stuff. And my main thing is I want people to get to have perspective. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I learned from you and I want to implement that here. And, and like the whole, like from my community, start in my community and then go up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm old, I'm always I'm I'm trying I'm posting like 30 times a day. I'm I hopped on LinkedIn, I hopped on TikTok, I'm doing everything, I'm hustling, I'm I'm like I'm trying my best and I I how I know there's like stuff that I still must do and it's still that I gotta do, but like I'm in the process, right? But my problem is I'm not gonna give like sugarcoat it. My problem is I'm not patient enough. Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't want it to like stick it and say, oh, yo, no, I'm not, I'm famous. Oh, yo, no, I like help. Oh, I like, I don't care about judgment. I don't listen to it. I got people happen on my videos say, yo, shut the fuck up and just go play PlayStation, whatever. But like, I'm in my zone and I'm, I try, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give people content and I'm gonna do it. I don't care what y'all say, right? But I want, I want that, the fa like, not the fame. Like, I don't care about the fame. I want 
the impact, like, the notoriety, the admiration. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like I all want of it, like all of it. The energy, the engagement. Yeah, right. I want everything. I want people hopping in my DMs asking me stuff. I want to be in the game. You know what I'm saying? You like, have to earn I, it. You haven't earned it yet. You're right, but like that, that, that's that's what I'm stuck at. Like I. I want to be I'm, six foot four and throw a football eight hundred yards, like and and win ten Super Bowls as the quarterback instead of the owner. Like I understand wanting. You haven't earned I'm it yet. Working to, you know what I'm saying? I that's fantastic. That's I, I want you to figure. I think you're gonna win the whole thing if you can make one little switch. If you realized working for all of it tastes better than all of it, your whole game will click. You know, you just reminded me of this verse from, I know you listen to hip hop, so it's like, you know, from J. Cole, Love Yours, it's like uh, Beauty and the Struggle. You just reminded me of that way saying that. It's what but it like, is, bro. It's what it is. You, I get you, that. You, I get that. I think can I'm. I, can I tell you something? Yeah, go ahead. I think you're going to look back at this in 15 years when you have it, and you're going to realize this was the best part, not that you have it. I swear on my fucking soul when I didn't have it, but I knew I was going to get it felt a lot better than this feels right now. So when you were like in 28 and working in the, in the liquor store? I liked being underestimated. I liked people not knowing yet. But the problem is like, when I think about it, like, look, you can, like I can be taken, like yeah, I'm 17 and I'm healthy and all things, but like I could be taken in any moment and I would leave with no legacy. I don't care about the legacy to someone you, called but, you, but you're but you're being oh, ideal, I don't, but you're being ideological. Oh my gosh, someone just said, what's your Instagram? I want to DM you, man. I'm gonna be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Omar. Yeah. You know, you're going what is your Instagram? It's uh O M A R S A L E M O three. Omar Salam O three. Yes, exactly. Awesome. Omar, listen to me. You're you you have no choice about that though. Like to your point, I understand that you could be taken at any moment. If a tree decides to fall on your head tomorrow, the the punchline is that's what it's gonna be. You have no control over that. You being impatient is gonna make it more likely that you won't get what you want. So you're fucking worried about lightning striking <laughs> and something that's almost impossible. <laughs> by reacting to that with something that's guaranteeingly not gonna get you what you want. So you've decided on some math that is almost impossible. I might die, which is very rare for a 16 going on 17 year old. I might die and then I didn't leave my impact. So you, because you put that in your mind as a perspective, you're gonna be impatient and come off as not as good of a version as you. Okay, I hear you, but like, l let me tell you something. Like the counter, when I think about that, because it moves me, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I, if I told myself, yo, I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna live like for a like hundred years, I don't think I'm gonna be motivated. And not, I don't, I don't agree with you. I think I'm gonna live for a hundred years, I'm motivated as fuck. Why do they have to be counter feelings? You can carry both of those. I've got good news for you. I already know that you're gonna be motivated regardless of what you decide, because you are motivated. I am, I am. I, and I, I, you I got really, a problem though. The, about myself, the, just the, like, the other part matters just as much. Hmm. Your ambition and hunger hmm. and motivation, if not offset by practicality, patience and execution, will fall on deaf ears and lead to unhappiness. See, I'm with you on all that, but like patience is just, I, 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 like, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm really working you, on it. Let me, let me shoot it to you straight, brother in a real, hmm. like, straight, candorous way. You're hmm. more interested in the fame than the process of the fame. And as soon as you realize that, things will get better. I am, yes, I, that's true, but like- I know it's true, period, interested. period, Omar, period. You're like, we can put a semicolon and again go No, I'm not, giving, I'm not giving you that extra little dot because you're gonna get caught. If you put the fucking admiration on a pedestal greater than the process to get the admiration, you will, Limit the upside of the admiration, period. But well, like, I don't really care about the mission. I just care about impacting people. I wanna, look, it, when I see 15 years from now, I wanna be the host of Deal With Omer and I'm helping people and I'm giving Great. people. I wanna be in the position Good. to give them, like, I, Good news, I wanted to at 16 too and I got there by working my fucking dick off. Yeah, you're right. I know I'm right, good news, me too. Here you go, 28 years from now, you're looking at him. The problem is I put in the fucking work. I will, I promise you that. I believe you, because you have no fucking choice. 
You understand? That's what's fun about this. I'm not giving you advice. I'm giving you the truth. You have no choice. If you don't live life, come up with scenarios, articulate them in your mind, figure out how to be a communicator of them, continue to stay creative. If you're not the kind of person that realizes, oh, I did this ad for fucking, you know, wine text and it worked, so now I'm gonna try it on my own content. Oh, weird, it did better than most of my other, like, if you're not creative, if you're not executing, yeah, I really like that if you're one. not patient, if you're not, like, like, good news. It doesn't matter what happens here for what I say and what you say. If you don't actually put in the work, if you don't actually execute it, it won't happen anyway. It doesn't matter what you want. Everybody wants. I'll execute, I'll execute, I'll execute, I know that. But, the, but the more that you realize that right now, that you're, spending more time thinking about, you, you, I spent no time, I'm being dead serious on this, I need you to hear this because it might help you and it's definitely gonna help others. I spent no time thinking about what this was gonna feel like. Well, like, I can't stop like. You know what I mean, Omar? I was, oh I've, ne I've never think about, I think about the day I buy the Jets as the worst day of my life, not the best. Because you want the process, you don't want the correct. Oh. And I need you to, I need you to take on some of that. You've already painted more pictures of thinking what it's going to feel like when you're at that place than I did in my whole life. So I'm trying to say to you, hey, this might be something that's worth debating. Not that I'm right, but hey, this is something for you to think about. Because everybody's laying on their fucking in their mind, thinking about what it would be like. Yes, I, I, I think about what it would be like to do the work to get there. I, the work, the process, the fucking negative anxiety. Like, I'm into that shit. I'm into this. Like, you know, like, I like that. I don't like the, yeah, you've won. I like the getting beat up nine rounds in and fucking figuring it out. I don't know if you watch my plank process challenge. Over, yeah, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you saw my video on Instagram about me doing that plank challenge. You need to go look at that again. Uh, yeah, I no, I think I think I was I think it was in an online class. I didn't I get it like I saw it. Omar, online. hold on one second. You're chopping a little bit. Hoping this might help. Okay. Omar? Uh, am I good or you're good ish. Omar, listen. If you <laughs> if you watch the plank challenge, watch it carefully. Early on I'm in real trouble. Like I can tell she's gonna beat me because I don't plank, it, you know, it's tired, I hurt my back, like I like I was gonna no excuses. She was gonna win. She was better. And, yeah. and about three minutes in, two minutes in, I, I switched it. And I said to her, Carolyn, I've been joking this whole time that this is hurting. I can do this for seven minutes. And it switched the momentum. It, it switched the mindset. And it put her in a spot where she was stuck. She was like, fuck. Right. And, it, and, and so in those two minutes when I was in trouble, I wasn't thinking about what it would feel like if I had won. I was thinking about how am I gonna win? And so my yeah. mind went into a place of like, ooh. This one resonated really. Like, Do you understand? Yeah. That's what I want for you, not. I have, I have also like a very, very like small question. I hope I'm not like taking so much of your time. It's just, what would you say if there's one word or like one thing that you can say to every single 16 or 17, like this age range, uh, person on the planet, what would it be? Patience. Man, I'm gonna start. <laughs> Dude, uh, it's all patience. Everybody wants it now because they want to use the clout of the thing to offset all sorts of other things that are going on. Omar, it, people want the clout to use the leverage of the clout, whether that is to put a band-aid on their insecurity that girls didn't like them or or to prove to their dad who said they would never be anything. Like, they're just looking for bandages of the clout. They're using the clout to fucking bandage. I don't want that. I want people to enjoy the process. That's actual life, you know? Yeah, I feel it on that one. That's it, bro. You're chopping, so we gotta go. Dustin, okay, right. love you, brother. It's too bad, love it was a too. really good talk. Um, it sucks that the uh, his internet got janked up, but good fucking show today, Dustin. Yeah. You know, speaking of patience, 
Uh, I've been very patient with this audience, Dustin. I think what I'd like to do is run the data on everybody who commented today. Okay. And if, and if they're not signed up for Wine Text, if they live in America and in one of the states that can ship to, I think we should block them from their ability of watching wine. Team what, with Gary well, what about the uh, underage people? <laughs> underage is good. People that live in Michigan and Illinois and Texas, good. People live outside of America. But if you live in New York and New Jersey, California, Florida, Virginia, and you haven't signed up for wine text and you're over 21 and you're on here, I want to block them actually. <laughs> so let's get the tech team involved. Let's get really serious here. Um, big shout out to Massachusetts. You guys are in. Listen, today's the biggest day of them all. I would pre-buy your Father's Day gift right now. $95 Cabernet for 39 bucks. It's ludicrous. So it's a huge deal. Maybe the best one that we've done yet. Please, please, if you can't buy from Wine Text, please share Wine Text. If you don't drink, like K Dub here, let's put winetext.com in your Twitch stream, in your Facebook group, in your Facebook account, in your Twitter. Text your best wine friend. You know, let's do that. So, love you guys. And uh, sorry for everybody who's getting blocked. We'll miss you. Uh, if this was your last episode of Tea with Gary V Live, we appreciate you. You can watch the tape versions, but like it was great to have you part of this community. Uh, and what you're about to see right now is a video that we made. I have started a new Twitter channel. We're uh, we're working on something really cool. Uh, and uh, Dustin, are you gonna be able to put the URL here? Or if actually everybody's watching right now, please, as soon as the URL goes up from this video, type in the URL that's clickable for all the people. Uh, Jerry Garcia, you're good. I know you're in Texas, so you won't get blocked. Uh, but for everybody who's getting blocked, we're gonna miss you. Um, but um, um, let's uh, let's check out this. Video. The people that are gonna win over the next five to seven years are gonna be very comfortable in controlled fucking chaos. You don't love the process. This is dreams we're talking about. Dreams require sacrifice. All of your actions have to then map to it. Backpack, backpack, backpack. Nobody gives a shit about where you grew up. The whole game is scaling the unscalable. It's fucking hard work, it's being respectful, it's being a good person. Do that, that's just a good idea. It's there, the flip game's there. This house right here, there's $400 to be made. I stay in my lane, like real fucking tight. But you can't be crippled. Everybody here is judging themselves. You're looking at what's in front of you right now. You're losing because you're laying in your bed looking at somebody's fucking glamorous photoshopped picture of them doing something cool and you're envious and you're jealous and you're impatient and it's crippling your upside. Let me just say it one more time if you're confused what I just said. I say put your fucking flag on the ground of who the fuck you are. Whoever provides the most value always wins. You're entering the greatest five year window of your life. My only answer to Nate or anybody like is just like try shit. Shut your business down and go work for an apparel company for three years. Nobody you've ever met got there without the hard work. So you better get your speed up. You better work harder. You better work smarter. If you can't Google stuff, you're not gonna be able to do anything that I'm telling you to do. Gary VTV, my new account. Check me out. Hope you enjoy it.